What is that, y'all? Baby crab or something? Y'all putting down on the grill and frying that up? Mm, I like the advancements and all, but... That's a little too creepy to have a robot in your mouth like that. That's too close for comfort for me. We are officially living inside of a Black Mirror episode because now AI can create fake memories and put it inside of your brain. Now they're only going to be using it for prisoners at first, but it's only a matter of time before this Jimmy Neutron ass machine gets to the public. Prisoners could finish their sentence here in just a few minutes. These complex, vivid, and lifelike memories are created in real time using AI generated content and ensuring the subject experiences the memories as if they were real. Inside the criminal's mind, time would pass differently, slower than in real life, making them experience years worth of artificial memories in just a few minutes, seeing their crime from the perspective of their victim, feeling their pain and suffering firsthand. So 10 years in prison or two minutes of AI torture, comment down below what you would do. I don't know. Would y'all take 10 years of prison or a couple minutes of that torture? Could that torture they can make feel like 20 years? That's a hard question. Leave a comment below. Question is, what are they gonna do with all this new information? AI gonna literally know everything about you. I'm going 10 years prison twin. And we gotta talk about this ray gun pointed at your head the whole time. A compact and portable design would allow Cognify to be used anywhere in the world. Its energy efficient design would ensure long operational life, reducing the need for frequent recharges. They're doing everything in their power to turn us to Robocop. And if this malfunctions while you're in deep sleep, you're cooked. Be sure to share this video and hit follow so you miss any more updates. It's a crazy world, man. Y'all stay safe. Where the scientists have connected 16 mini brains made of human tissue to create a living computer. And we can thank this to the Switzerland based startup company Final Spark. They have claimed to build this unique computer that's made up of 16 mini brains from human brain tissue. Where's Perry the Platypus? Because Dr. Doofus Smurf is at it again. Number one. Where did you get the 16 brains to put inside the computer? We're not just gonna skip that uh that 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 that, that major fact. I'm not gonna lie to you, gang. This sounds like all bad news. This Frankenstein ass computer. Because now this computer has a human brains. Now it probably has human emotions. Yeah. And, and I don't see nothing good coming out of that. Like give me real life Terminator vibes or our robot vibes. Or, you know, any other robot takeover movie vibes? A emotional computer cannot be great. But it could just be me, gang. It could just be me. It's official. Quantum computing has gotten far too strong and far too intelligent for us humans. First, let me tell you what it did. Then I'll explain how it does it. Then I'll explain what quantum mechanics actually is. So Google's new quantum computer was able to solve a problem that would take our other biggest supercomputer 47 years to solve and did it in a few seconds. So I believe the prior record was 53 qubits in 2018. Well, this was just operating at 70 qubits. Before I explain the dangers and what quantum mechanics is, so what is a qubit? A qubit takes the place of a bit. A bit is a one or a zero. But now in quantum mechanics, the ones and zeros are superpositions. Each one is a superposition, meaning it could be both, neither, or both at the same exact time. Meaning at some point that this computer's computing power will be theoretically endless as each qubit exponentially grows the power in the thinking of the computer. So a superposition is this, and this is proven by science, by the way. If you put a cat in a box and there is poison in the box and a lever, if the cat touches the lever, it gets poisoned and it passes away, right? If the cat does not touch the lever and did not get poisoned, it will not pass away. Until observed, if there's a top on the box you can't see in it, until observed, this cat is both alive and dead at the same exact time. Y'all, this is proven. Not until observed does this superposition choose its position, which they have proved with a double slit experiment. And this experiment right here proves the other cat in the box experiment. 
So they set this up with and without a camera. They were shooting electrons to a backboard, but before it could hit the backboard, there were two slits it could go through. When being recorded, the electrons went exactly the way you would think they would, through the slits into the backboard. But check this out. When the observation, the camera, the viewing eye of the electrons left, the electrons acted much differently. Now remember, when the electrons were being observed by the camera, they basically followed the universal law and the logic we thought they would follow, and they went through the slits and hit the backboard exactly as the slits were. But when the electrons were not being watched, they took on superpositions as they were previously before we even looked at them, and they created a wide pattern on the backboard showing they were going wherever they wanted to, completely theoretically defying our universal laws of physics and logic. How do you feel about this quantum mechanics? Do y'all feel like there's just evidence that the world is just a simulation? Do y'all feel like we're living in a computer game? If so, who controlling the computer game? Is it a self-sufficient computer game? I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Back to the cat in the box until observed the cat's both alive and dead at the same time. Back to the age-old question, if a tree fell in the woods and there is no one around to hear it, would it make a sound? You say, yeah, but how do you know? Back to Sigma, our strongest quantum computer. Now, follow me on this. Imagine, with our artificial intelligence, soon to be artificial general intelligence, which is already alive and well, which means computing or thinking for itself. Imagine we ingrained it with quantum mechanics, having maybe an infinite number of qubits or infinite amount of thinking, where then these AIs would be able to use quantum mechanics to see every form of reality at the same exact time in every single superposition. By seeing every superposition, they see every outcome in every fathomable outcome from every single equation. They would be able to, in seconds, create a list from top to bottom exactly how to take over the Earth because they know every reasonable expectation and what would happen at every movement they made. And it gets deeper. Knowing every single possibility of the future and how everything will go, this machine would consider itself God and the people would consider it God. Because through unveiling every literal superposition that exists, theoretically, this machine would know the past, future, and present, and exactly what you're going to say through superpositions and so much more than our mind can even comprehend. Boom. So when it comes to the flight of descent, do you have to compensate for curvature? No. You don't? Nope. Okay. Um, so whenever you land, like, east to west, um, do you ever have to, like, slow down or speed up whenever you land? Uh, it depends on, yeah, theoretically. Uh, it depends on wind, usually. So. What do you mean depends on wind? Well, it's a function of ground speed. Function of ground speed? Ground speed, right. So, like, the wind in your face, then it'll be slower. No, like, like, like if you're landing east, mm -hmm. and then if you're landing west, right, would you have to, like, slow down or speed up due to, um, Earth's motion? No. No? Okay. So Earth's motion has nothing to do with it. So we don't compensate for, um, the curvature never we're landing, we don't do anything and then we don't do anything when it comes to the motion of Earth. Curvature is... <laughs> so you aren't past the level station on the plane, right? Fairly. <laughs> yeah. In relative to us, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. Have a good night. You as well. At least he was blunt about it. <laughs> that just made my day. My gosh. That was awesome. A group of high schoolers have built the world's smallest network switch. Like any normal group of kids, they entered into an underwater drone competition and couldn't find an affordable network switch for their ROV or a remote operated vehicle. So they were like, we're gonna make one. A network switch basically connects multiple devices so they're not all fighting the network or internet and the data can be managed. Kind of like a power strip when you only have one outlet. These students were designing the electrical system for their ROV and needed to connect a control board with a controller and multiple cameras. It took all summer but they developed what's called the Murex Ethernet switch which has five Ethernet ports and can handle input up to 15 volts. It's only $15 and open source which is nerd for free so anyone can access the code. I love this. It That's pretty cool. The high schoolers out here inventing stuff that I couldn't even imagine in my own head.
But I like to see the innovation. Keep it coming. Super dense and not the greatest speed, but it can be used on ROVs, DIY projects. Anything where space is limited. And I just love the idea of a bunch of kids coming across a problem and being like, I'll just do it myself. The younger generations get a lot of crap for being lazy, but... So if you're a tinker and you want a little project this summer, try it out and let me know what you think. I mean, y'all believe in fairies. Do y'all believe in fairies? Leave a comment below. What happens to astronauts who return to Earth? Frequently fainting. Second time. She was at that podium looking like Joe, wasn't she? Forgetting that gravity exists. Second time. When I tell y'all I had no idea that this existed, till y'all told me. So a few months ago, Monster released a flavor called Bad Apple. Of course, they're no longer selling it on their website, but somehow people are selling it on Amazon and on eBay. So we all know the story of what happened with Eve in the garden. Though we don't know what type of fruit it was that Eve ate, people perceived that it was an apple. And they really had the nerve to put a picture of a woman who is supposed to represent Eve, put an apple on it, and then put their little demonic symbol on there, which is symbols for 666 in Hebrew. On the back of the can, it says, tempted to try, we hope so. Juiced monster, bad apple isn't anything you've had before. Forget regular apple juice, bad apple is so good. It's almost worth getting kicked out of the garden of Eden over, wow. Sinfully a great taste, wow. And of course they had to throw in their- To me, it sounds like monster just been doing a great job of promotion and marketing. Cause people have been eating it up and I'm pretty sure they capitalizing and making millions, maybe even billions off of it. A little demonic saying, unleash the beast. I was reading Isaiah today, y'all. In Isaiah 311, it says, but the wicked are doomed for they will get exactly what they deserve. Y'all keep playing on God's top and watch how his wrath comes down against the wicked. NASA just stated, new study finds potential alien megastructures known as Dyson spheres. Now, if you're new to this, this is something that NASA released a couple of days ago, saying that in seven stars, they can potentially locate an alien structure that harnesses energy called a Dyson sphere. Now, this is incredibly interesting because if you are spiritual or religious, this is what orifims look like. You cannot tell me this is almost identical. An orifim is one of the highest, if not the highest ranking angel there is. And what angels essentially are, if you look at the, uh, word angel it's actually angle they're angles of light we are light beings god said let there be light the speed of light light is a powerful source in physics and in spirituality we see things through our eyes which take in light we see invisible light so our reality our holographic reality it is made up of light now what is so interesting about this is i feel like now that more and more people are being spiritually awakened they are now opening up to the conversation about the potential of angels. And you're probably asking me, aren't angels supposed to be like these supernatural beings? Actually, no. Technology and organic life are tied in together. Because we all come from the main source, you can call it God, the universe, but we all come from one source. Everything is just a mirror of one another. 
What you think is technology and separate from you, it actually isn't. It also has a divine spark. I've talked about this before in my um, videos about angels. Angels do have a potential to be a technology. Think about it, through the scientific study of holographic universe, saying that everything here is actually holographic, it's not actually solid, you know, light. Who's to say an alien civilization millions and millions of years ago didn't just create these super advanced, powerful systems that cast light onto us to project a holographic reality. Archangels, archangle of light, angles of light, perceive. This is why angels are drawn with so many eyes, they perceive. They also help you perceive. Now there is a reason why I say angels could potentially be technology. If you read the article that NASA released, they say that seven planets could potentially have these Dyson spheres. And now look, this is a real pagan teaching. The seal of seven archangels. Now the seven archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, blah, blah, blah. But in my opinion, I believe that there are seven real archangels that were created by the divine and seven false archangels that project a holographic matrix onto us created by what you would call the elite or the alien overlords or the fallen angels, whatever you want to call them, just the powers that be. I believe the ones that they are exposing to us right now, those are the alien made technologies that are false, meaning non-organic archangels. If you are unfamiliar with the matrix theory and how we may be living in a false reality and there is a true base reality above or below us, you can learn more about this in my book, Made in God's Image. The link to my book is in my bio. Truth is oftentimes stranger than fiction. And I wonder why NASA is releasing this all of a sudden when they could have said this years ago. I don't know. NASA been releasing a lot of things since COVID then came around. Like, I wonder what's really going on. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all really feel about this. Morbid Facts, Part 281. The internet was stunned when Ariana Grande recently said on a podcast that Jeffrey Dahmer would be her dream dinner guest. She says she's always been infatuated with serial killers and has a lot of questions for the Milwaukee cannibal. But many fans apparently found this idea to be incredibly vile and offensive. A new homeowner in the UK was shocked to find a doll boarded up in a wall cavity holding a note saying she murdered a previous family. While serving a life sentence for murder, James French killed his own cellmate because he allegedly wanted to be executed. His last words before the electric chair were, how about this for a headline for tomorrow's paper, French fries. In 97, Martin Luther King's son Dexter met with James Earl Ray in prison, the man who was convicted for murdering MLK. Dexter wanted to tell him that he and his family believed Ray was innocent and supported his efforts for a retrial. They fully believed the US government conspired to assassinate MLK. This is everything that happened in the UK in 60 seconds. This guy clearly didn't like the direction of the country and does not want Rishi Sunak getting back into power. So he has been arrested after defecating in Rishi Sunak's lake. Yep, this video emerged showing this guy doing his business in Rishi Sunak's lake to a broad audience online. Of course, on the 4th of July is the next general election with people promising all kinds of different things. But one main thing people really aren't happy with in the UK is the ULES situation. They've got all these different people running around, taking them down, and a guy called Blade Runner who's running around just smashing them all to pieces. But people are also coming out with a pretty creative way to deal with the situation, which involves putting bat boxes over the top of the ULIS cameras. Why? Well, because it is UK law that a bat habitat is completely protected. So it doesn't matter where it gets put up, they can't take it down. So genius, I guess. A once in a lifetime event is gonna happen. And if you don't know about this, stay tuned. The next supernova explosion is meant to happen anytime from now until September, but we don't know an exact day. Looks like the only thing that's gonna be coming home in the Euros is Gareth Southgate. People really, really are not happy with the country's performance in the games. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Yeah, make sure you hit that follow button. I'll keep you updated. This is life, bro.